Hey y'all and welcome back to day five of my 12 days of Christmas series. Today we are working with these adorable Christmas cows. This was a collaborative bundle from Diamonds and Dust and AB Designs Co. And it was pre-designed or pre-put together bundles. You got some vinyl, you got a DTF shirt transfer, some decals, and these clear element sheets and they are so adorable. So I got both bundles and I just picked out the cow print that I loved the most, which was hard to do, let me tell you, because they are adorable. But I really love these little cows on this print. So my idea for this tumbler is I'm not going to be using any glitter. I'm using two different luster dusts from Diamonds and Dust, and I wanted to share just an idea. So this is more of an inspiration, I guess you could say, type of tutorial. Just share that you can still do some fun, beautiful things, but it doesn't have to be glittery. I am working on a 20 ounce straight tumbler from the Tumbler Supply Store, and what you saw me do was I kind of measured about how big I'd want the vinyl and then I taped it off with this painter's tape and I did two stripes and then when I measured what was left in the middle it wasn't really enough. I wanted to not cut any of the cows in half so I peeled off the inside rim painter's tape that I put on there and then I put a thinner painter's tape and I don't know how wide that one is. I just picked from the few different sizes that I had and went with that. And then I measured again and it was a good amount to show all of those cute little cows. So I measured again and then I trimmed my vinyl and then I'm going to apply it to the open exposed area on the tumbler. I wrapped it around to make sure it was a good fit and then I trimmed a little off of one end and then I'm just going to use the hinge method to apply this vinyl and you'll see here I kind of screwed up at the end. I wrapped it around and then I was like wait I forgot to pull off the blue painters tape that was holding on the first part of that vinyl so I had to peel it back off, peel off that blue painters tape, push it back down and then I kind of stretched that vinyl too much on the end which I was going to cut it off anyway so it didn't really matter but don't be like me make sure you remove that blue painters tape. Once I fixed my mistake, I peeled off the inside painter's tape and then I taped off the vinyl because we don't want to get anything on there. And I just applied foil glue from Artistic Painting Studio to that open exposed area. And it's a bronze color, so I really didn't mind the silver of the tumbler. It'll look just fine. So with a gloved hand, after that foil glue was dry, I just sprinkled on a little bit of that bronzer color and be forewarned, I know I've told you this before, but luster dust goes everywhere. It was in the air, it was on my silhouette, it was everywhere. So 
With my gloved hand, I just sprinkled a little bit on and then just rubbed it in. And then I did that on the top and the bottom rim. Right after I was done with that color, I peeled off the painter's tape from the vinyl because I don't want any of that glitter glue, foil glue to get stuck on there. And then I peeled off the last layer of painter's tape to leave that last exposed row. And then I am going to take some pink chalk paint because the pink seemed a little bit more translucent or opaly. I wanted to make sure that it had a good base of pink on there so I just painted it pink with this chalk paint and then after that layer was dry I added the foil glue and then did the same thing. I just heated that with my heat gun to dry that foil glue and then I took the petal colored luster dust, applied it, and then just rubbed it in with my gloved finger. Right after that, since foil glue is basically dry already, I took it outside and gave it a really good coat of Rust-Oleum's Clear Glossy Spray Paint, and then I gave it a good coat of epoxy, and in the epoxy, I added just a smidge of the bronzer colored luster dust just to add a little bit more sparkle. And then once that epoxy was cured, I took the element sheet and cut out all these adorable cows and candy canes and I wanted to make kind of like a border. Um, since the candy canes weren't like all of the candy canes on the sheet in this row were not the same but I wanted them to be the same that's why I cut them out instead of applying them like I do for the cows here in a minute and just cutting the strip and applying it. So I just cut out all the same candy canes and applied them randomly to just the top rim a little over into the bronze color and then some straight on and then I just trimmed off anything that hung over outside of that pink area. Something I love about AB Designs Co. when you get a clear element sheet or a clear decal you have the option to have it just be clear or white backed and I always get mine white backed. In this bundle there wasn't an option but if I do order from there, I always get all of my decals white backed because then it goes over any colored surface. You don't have to worry about it being too light or not being able to see it. So I highly recommend to always get mine or get yours white backed because then it makes it so easy to apply it to any tumbler. And then what I did with the cows was because they were just cute and lined up already and all of them matched, I just cut out the same or the one little strip and then I applied it in just a singular row right on the bottom pink row. Then I just trimmed off if there was any of the clear part from that row sticking over too far 
on the bottom I just trimmed it up to make sure that it would not make a bump for the epoxy and then I found this beautiful red vinyl at Hobby Lobby I had never seen this before it was sold in the vinyl section and it was just in the individual sheets but it was called ice film in the color red and it's like a lustery matte finish and it's so pretty I am regretting that I didn't buy more because I don't know when I go back I haven't looked for it, but now that I really want more of it, I'm hoping that they have more. So I just created a cream stripe and then a smaller red stripe to go in the center of those cream stripes. And I just outlined or added a stripe to the both sides of the bronzer colored stripe and then I added two coats of epoxy, and this was all done. I really debated. I wanted to possibly add a saying like, Mooey Christmas, but I really didn't want to cover up these adorable cows, so I opted to not, again, not leave a, or not apply an SVG or a decal or anything like that, and just really let the luster dust and these adorable cows shine for themselves. This adorable tumbler, just like all of the ones from the series, will be available on my website if you want to snag these adorable cows. And I will leave all of the information where to find me on the products that I use down in the description box. And I will see you tomorrow for day six of our 12 Days of Christmas series.